Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have Ulf here going to play Star Tropics from begin to end as fast as possible. He seems to be ready, so I'm going to count down from five so we can start. Five, one, four, three, two, one, and he's off. Good luck, Ulf. In case people do not know who Ulf is, he's the one wearing the white shirt at this moment in front of the camera. On the left side we see Carol in a brown t-shirt and on the right side MJ leaning over a chair and Pete hanging in a chair. Relaxing Pete. Why this guy is not wearing a shirt? <laughs> that's that's his weapon of choice right there, a yo-yo. here running quite some test runs on this one so he's well prepared Olaf if you're able to uh, answer question if you like or are you really focused Alright, we'll try to uh, ask all some questions here, since the game is quite unknown to most of the people. Just some random question, um, how many times have you actually finished the game by now? Twenty, thirty times, and... What was... Um, what made you choose this game for uh, for uh, for speedrunning? His favorite game when he grew up. You used to play this with your father, as I would believe correctly. It's a quite nice game. I also played it when I was young. The game is quite straightforward. Clearing out some rooms. I guess it was uh, a mini boss. Oh, and Olaf, just for uh, for the split uh, heads up. I do not know when the the chapter is over, so just give a shout out and I'll press. Uh, okay. <laughs> this game is actually really fun. Looks pretty much a bit, a little bit like Zelda, yes. The top-down uh, idea like this, talking to some people, getting some items. Even though I do question using a yo-yo. But it seems effective in this case.
And a little shout out to Olaf, he's uh, boosting up the viewers count. Olaf raising up his hand that the first chapter is over and he just entered the second chapter. It seemed rather short, five minutes for the first chapter, but some chapters will be taking quite some extra time. And here we can see a special skill uh, that Olaf has, talking to dolphins. So if anybody has a question about this game, I can redirect the question to Olaf and he's welcome to answer it. We're going to have Marius back in a bit in the commentator seat. As I know just a little, too little about this game to uh, to contribute to uh, any vital information. I guess I will be standing up and give the hat set to Marius. Sargoth back on the mic, Marius, whichever. So I finally got a cup of coffee here, so I'm going to do some commentating for uh, Hippo Batman's uh, Star Tropics run here. I agree with the first split being in the red, so I assume there was a slightly bumpy start, but it should be okay. No tragedy yet. that there might be many things about this, this game that seem illogical, strange, whichever. Just feel free to ask in chat and I'll try my best. Basically all the tiles you see, they uh, have some sort of code. Usually there's one that gives hearts and another one that gives a switch to open the door. That's usually how it works. You just gotta memorize those. And you gotta choose sometimes if you really want the hearts or if you're gonna just gonna go for a switch. In a speedrun you uh, go as fast as possible of course, but if you're low on hearts and you only have one attempt, you might wanna pick up some of the hearts at least. as the boss to get more hits in, maybe might be do, able to do it in one cycle. It's quite a few hits, but yeah, I got it. Okay. Here we go. Um, I did it. 
Yeah, the dolphins are absolutely epic. And this is exactly how a dolphin uh, sounds when it speaks, in case you're wondering. Commentary is me, Marius, uh, Sargoth, whichever. All right, so Ulf is caught back up to his uh, splits. Now half a second ahead. As you can see, the uh, submarine is in dire straits right now, so um, you just end up on a beach, of course. How many chapters? I believe eight. Nobody should have any issues with time traveling dolphins. Don't see, uh, don't see any issues with that. Oh yeah, definitely. Star Tropics uh, deserves more than 22 two viewers based on the music alone, which is absolutely epic. By the way, how is the music on your end? Is it loud enough? Or should I turn it up, down, whichever? Okay, cheers. is for most and foremost low because we don't have a built-in audience. Uh, we're just part of remnants of old and Mario Kart forums or communities and goldmine communities, F-Zero, games that don't get a lot of love these days. So we've been coming together and just doing stuff like this, uh, retro challenges, uh, tournaments and all games, whichever. And this year we just decided to stream it, but we don't have a built-in audience. So. If you guys are able to uh, advertise it in some way, that's awesome. Yeah, appreciate it. Actually, between the dungeons in this game, there are a lot of um, walking around and just getting the next event to happen. Oh, and shout out to Epic Mustache Guy. This guy is absolutely... You cannot beat this mustache. It's probably magic. Mustache. 
Yeah, a lot of starch, most likely. Alright, thank you very much, Mega Ultra J Man. Much appreciated. And we're back to the epic music. Anyone know what those enemies are? It's uh, a bit confusing to me. Um, the um, skull gooses, skull geese, whatever. Mutant ostriches. Yes, that was actually my one of my uh, suggestions last time I saw a speedrun of this. <laughs> good shot. Flamingos with skulls. Okay, it's good too. <laughs> Hi, Markness the Goat. Nice nickname, by the way. Why are you here? Well, watch some gaming, I suppose. Always good. Getting a little trolled by the fly here. Yes, indeed, the schedule is GMT plus one, or CET, Central European Time. This boss fight, you don't actually fight, you just push down switches and kill it. And it's just about avoiding the fires, basically. One hit there, should be fine. Yeah. Right. Um, if you see the uh, the uh, counter on the right side with the numbers going up by the second, it says Star Tropics on the top. I could make a title as well, but yeah, it's Star Tropics indeed. Admiral Smith with a slight, slight miscalculation. And this is on the 8-bit NAS. So I believe it was 22 viewers, like a, like a 10 minutes ago. Now it's 34. I guess that's simply due to the awesome music of Star Tropics and Mega Ultra J Man, perhaps.
actually, um, as far as I know, there are no donations for crystals to do a 100% run yet. I think he personally set the limit at like $50. Um, well, I'll have to double check with him. I think $50 and I'll do 100%. And yes, A Link to the Past is, is like my all-time favorite game. I just cannot do it justice like uh, Kristoff can, for example. Good point. Star Trek is music in the promo vid. Should do the trick. He waited there was an invisible ghost, I believe. All right, cheers. Eclevin, or whichever you want me to pronounce your name. Eric? Yeah. Alright. Appreciate it, man. If you are indeed a man, I'm just assuming you're... Um, office call, calling serious time. Has to hit on the audio cue here. stuff. Uh, normally you would have something equivalent of the uh, lens of truth there to see the platforms, um, but he's avoiding the uh, lens of truth to to make the run faster and then he has to do some audio cues to uh, time the platforms basically. Dragonfly, um, yeah, I guess that's true, um, I would like as many as possible to tune in, uh, then again we, as I said, we don't necessarily have a built-in audience, so it's gonna be a little rough, but we're doing this for 48 hours straight, so maybe we'll pick up. JP, yeah, it's the not wish robes indeed. <laughs> Good one. Do we only have one TV set up for stream? No, we have currently one, but um, earlier on we were doing a dual speedrun on, uh, or rather a race, on Super Mario Bros. 1. And we will have more races, uh, for example in Goldeneye will be on two TVs. Or maybe three. We'll see. Mm -hmm. 
J-Man, indeed. That's kind of why I did Star Tropics first and Zelda second on the schedule. They just sort of go hand in hand in a way. That's a very interesting boss fit right there. Um, hmm. I shall ask both Carol and MJ and put it in the um, requested slot. Carol is not smiling about it. <laughs> not Carol says it's done. <laughs> MJ is taking it free. But yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do, LaFungo. <laughs> wow, you done it! Not the first time, not the last time. He keeps on doing it for a while. And on screen we have... It's supposed to be a tree, what? Nah. It ain't. That's a lake? Nah. It's an a-hole, we all know it. And here's one too, a smaller one, kind of cute one. <laughs> sort of a theme in this stage of the game. It's also a gaping a-hole boss later on. Econ commentary? Maybe I'm just talking too loud, it shouldn't be any echo. Everyone experience into this, or just one is, two is not, two are not. Yeah, just try refresh. Around here we have the island of cola or something, where puns are for free. Yes, Super Pro Protector, that's going to be something else. <laughs> um, sensor version. I mean, it's robots instead of muscly men, but... I don't know, I think I prefer the robots. I'm actually playing in that game too, for a easy mode taunt run, which yeah, we'll explain that later. It's gonna get ugly. That's all I know. And the music is back. Everyone in the room is whistling. Good stuff. Yeah, the troll button. This is where everyone gets stuck at a kid as a kid. We are having s uh, I hear you. But I am like the... There was something with the... Don't know if it's the Ness or the Scart, but certainly hope we can fix this. Keep on playing, yeah, but this is a blind run by now. <laughs> Same. 
Hmm. This was unexpected. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a nest glitch and not the cable. So, did you just save? So maybe we should resume from the save point. Because this is not going to get any better. Or, I jinxed it. How do I jinx that? Yeah, it is my one and only superpower. And that and sarcasm. So it's fixed? Okay, so through some sort of jinxing miracle, we are continuing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, so he's now playing without the amount of hearts he has left. <laughs> this is now officially our Star Tropics no HUD run. Surprised there is no Super Mario 64 on schedule. Um, Agreed. I was in. Uh, I was talking to Siglemic to do a run, and I don't know. We didn't quite figure it out in time. If he still wants to, and I get in touch with him, it's still possible to get a slot for him. But I haven't heard back from him for a, a, a couple of days now, so maybe there won't be any Super Mario 64. And the heart meter is back. I don't know what's going on here, but. Shout out to Ness. Ilu can speedrun it, and he did in the past. And he actually had the world record at one point, but he hasn't played the game for years, and it's not quite up to par to the new school of players. So, eh. You can ask him about it for a request, the encore stream, or maybe if a slot doesn't get filled. Sonic Adventure 2. Um, I, I'm not very familiar with this game. GameCube is, well, it's not super old school, uh, but we do have games on even the Wii and the PS3, so it's not impossible for that reason. I think we've, I think we've exactly managed to double the viewers uh, in 20 minutes. So, cheers! Thanks, guys, for tuning in. next split soon. Some time was lost due to the uh, rather special glitch though. Cheers for bringing me coffee there, Ingve. How close is the end of chapter 3? Pretty close, I think. Epic Mustache Man is back. Oh behold the Epic Mustache. And the Epic Poem, whatever. Magic spell. It's a miracle, of course it is.
All right, half a minute ahead. Actually, I do believe 125 is not his personal best, but it was the split we had available, so that's just how it's going to be for now. Oh, my bad. Here we go inside the whale. Yep, just got 50 viewers. Good stuff. Thanks you all. Thanks to all for tuning in. got a lot of good stuff coming up later on as well so uh, do check the schedule and see if there's something you might enjoy later on just a lot of different stuff coming up I don't know how the uh, digestive system of a whale works, but it's complex, apparently. And has a lot of straight lines and stairs and such. Just I'm not a marine biologist, so I don't know the whale autonomy too well. Is it called anatomy? Oh, well. Whales are natural labyrinths. Oh, go figure. There you go. I do believe this is the, by far, shortest chapter in the game. Assuming SRL already knows? Um, I'm not too sure, actually. I didn't, um, I didn't see any posts or something there. Maybe their IRC channel would be a good bet. mention okay cool another split still half a minute ahead um, lost a little second there or two. That's fine. And he gives you a fresh worm. All good times were had by all.
Oh my, this ship. Oh, this ship. If anyone remembers y uh, Yabu Yabu from Ocarina of Time, he's about to find his uh, rival here. In other words, coming up soon, a very slow sinking ship. Get hype. This is the part where you have to talk with nearly everyone in town. Pretty standard from NES and some SNES games. Exactly the sound parrots make when they talk. The sound effects in this game were way ahead of their time. low on hearts right now, so... But there seems to be uh, plenty. How many chapters? I believe there's eight or nine chapters. Yeah, it's eight. Like in every NES game, <laughs> according to Carol. It's one of the gaming numbers, that's true. Oh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these uh, bowling balls, or whatever they are, uh, are one hit kills, so. Don't wanna get too friendly with those.
Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I'm not playing Star Tropics 2, though. Um, I believe the uh, vote for Hippo Batman here has, has spoken out quite strongly against that game, but yeah. This is his uh, childhood right here, upbringing, everything. The nostalgia is strong in this one. Salvage there, yeah. Some more. Now we are good. Oh, I probably jinxed it. Easy, easy jinx. there. now. Should be fine. I think this is what's, what triggers the slowest sinking of all time, actually. Here we go! I have no clue how this... why this takes so immensely long time, but this is the boat sinking scene indeed. Three seconds ahead. Doing right so far, and I believe the splits we are playing against um, are sort of weak towards the end. So we hope to get under 120 actually. There's a lot of memorization to this part of the game, which is finding out where to go. It's probably rather tedious the first time around. Now it's just same old.
man. Jaws on the nest. That was... <laughs> that was unfortunate for people everywhere. <laughs> they much not care, not much care for that game. Then again, I'm sure somebody did. Nostalgia. Too strong. Is there a site somewhere that tracks Tropics completion time? Mm, no, not that I know of. Um, there are single segment world record runs on SDA. And I believe there's a task run on taskvideos.org. That's probably about it. It's an old game and it's sort of a gem. Uh, not too many people know about this game for some reason. I think it was released pretty late in the uh, life cycle of the NES as well. Once again, thanks again, thanks to everyone for tuning in to NLG Exhibition 2012. Um, doing a 48-hour marath marathon here uh, for raising some money for diabetes research. So feel free to donate and perhaps even add a comment. We will read it on stream and you can help decide what's played later on, how it's played, stuff like that. Oh, and I do believe there's a perler actually for this game if you donate during the game spam. So let me just get up on the camera real quick here. Oh yes, here we go with the epic gaping a-hole boss as well. It's some sort of crustacean evolution I was not informed of. So we should have the nest perler, which you can. Actually, you probably will win it if you donate during the stream, <laughs> since there are not too many donations this far. There we go. That's nest uh, perler bean, eight bit style. There's many of those for many of the games, and uh, we'll be giving them out. We already have a winner for the three Dr. Mario perlers, and I think. The Donkey Kong Mario Kart filler suit off the grabs. Just mention that you want it and you can have it. Simple. Oh, if anyone played uh, Diablo 3 or something, this is the seven-sided strike from the monk. Just 20 years, 20 years earlier. Eastern Island boss spouting some sort of uh, semen electricity thing, one or the other. Pretty okay boss, just have to time your jumps and that's it.
it's too bad he's uh, pushing through the uh, dialogue here because uh, the story is pretty epic. In short, I think if I got this straight, in short, his uncle was abducted by aliens, and now minor baseball league champion Mike has to rescue his uncle with a yo-yo. Uh, good old Nest story. Oh yeah, and the cola. Of course. Fantastico. the restock right there. This boss is supposed to be hard, I guess. Supposed to be. The semi-teleporting stone monsters. Good stuff. to go for the single heart there. If I do remember correctly, these enemies do an awful lot of damage. Maybe why. Oh yeah, and this part is inherently random. Same boss again, except now there's two. Good stuff. This probably counts as a mini boss, anyways, though. Alright, thanks. Inco side vinyl. Danish Nintendo side. Pretty okay boss, you just have to jump once or twice and that's it. Oh, zero times, that's even better. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, there is a topic on the SDA forums. Um, I don't know how recently it's been bumped or something, but it is there. And besides bumps, in its pure form, is probably frowned upon anyways. But. Cyberscore forum, alright, that takes me back. I believe I have some times there for some bad game or another. Micro Machines V4 or something? It's been a long time, time since I went to that site though. Cool, cool. Now 
Now listen carefully, or mash frantically, whichever. The story is complicated, yes. Oh, and in this game, the uh, do you want to hear it again is automatically on yes, so we have to stop your mashing, which is very sad. Do you understand? Yes. But here it says, do you want to hear it again? Usually there's a good chance you don't want to hear it again. New split, and now we are 225 ahead. Swimmingly thus far. Oh, thanks the Stratovarian. Uh, Demon's Link, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, um... <laughs> Picking apart old games has become increasingly popular in the last years, I think, so... It's good. And I love to watch it myself. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we are into the uh, rougher part of the game now. Hard to avoid deaths in the long run, but yeah. Hopefully, this part in particular is pretty rough. Time over record? No, the splits are a little outdated. Uh, it's not even a personal best. But we're just. We had some splits here, so it's more interesting to look at. I believe the world record is around 107 or so. Alright. things are not your friend. And no, this is by no means a world record attempt. This is just playing the game basically. And trying to do it fast. But yeah. Yeah. It's a personal best is uh, 115 or so. 114 high maybe. Nice job getting the boss there with Zilch health. But I've probably jinxed it in some way, uh, unless some hearts are coming up. Uh, no, the um, 125 is not his personal record, it's just uh, the splits we had here. I believe his, his goal would be cutting the 150. I consider speed running Chrome Trigger. Um, not me personally, and I don't think anyone else here plays it like that either. Uh, it is an awesome game though, that is for sure. Do not whistle the music here. I am <laughs> having a rough time.
Alright, I see we're joined by Christos now, who will be doing the next race. Good evening indeed. Actually, no, Christos is not on site. He was not able to make it here, but we set up something so we can do a remote stream. Um, you guys will be seeing the same thing. Same layout, same commentary. It's just Christos is playing from his the comfort of his own home. To you guys, it shouldn't matter at all, actually. It should look the same. Oh, and if anyone has any desire to watch Chris do a 100% run, which I do believe he's not in favor of himself, um, feel free to donate and uh, specify in the comment field that you want the 100% run, and we shall write. That is the freest boss of the game probably, this one just dies. to take a, take a few hits there since there's like 16 hearts in the space of two tiles. Oh and this is where the game really confuses me. I don't know if it's 2D or 3D or whatever anymore. It's just this does not make sense. It's like 2.7D or something. 1.8 The red balls coming from the top basically can't hit you. They're yeah, they're in another dimension basically. Alright. Nice boss fight. some more faffing about here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Little bit. Yeah. Alright, so we're actually closing on the end here. Um, I'll explain the final boss glitch, which may or may not save uh, about a minute, depending on if you get it. It's um, the point is to not let the final boss spawn alien enemies or alien spawn, basically. Uh, but in order to do so, we have to be close to him, and for the first part of the battle, you have to first walk towards him. So there's a, like a two or three second span there where it's out of your control. But if you get lucky with that, you can shave. Uh, about a full minute off your total time, which is good, I'd say. But the bad thing is it's inherently random. This is what alien ships uh, sound like. Hey, yeah, it's the Millennium Falcon indeed. And it also sounds like Dr. Wiley's ship, I think. And now we're nearly seven minutes ahead, so yeah. Shout out to the old splits. <laughs> They're easier to beat though, that's good. Oh, 
I did not play this game as a kid, sadly, but this imagery must be very scary for the infants. Cannot imagine anything else. And we're starting out three hearts, and we're instantly into our boss fight. Now, the arms are just a troll. Waste of time, basically. And the face is the only thing you can hurt. You can only... You can shoot it several times, but it makes no difference. Just shoot it once and then wait for the next cycle. Getting pretty lucky now, getting some faces instead of our hands. Cheers, Carol. Bringing me some water. Much needed. Pretty clean boss fight right there. Yeah, one hand is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Hey, Jayman, do you, do you, have you played this game as well? Can't recall having seen you play it. That doesn't mean you don't, of course. It can be a little annoying, but playing it a little safe now, just to get through. Oh! Taking a little hit. Should be okay. Get some hearts there, and... Uh, killing some spawn, just to get items. See if you can get the glitch. Potentially, yes. We are on schedule for uh, our glitch. If I have understood it correctly. Basically, it has to stay within one diagonal tile of the uh, enemy uh, to prevent him from spawning. It's a pretty rough boss fight. If you hit the uh, boss himself, you're instantly dead. Oh. Where did the spawn so far? But, oh. Getting a little close to the boss. I don't think we could see the, the glitch here. Yeah, I think so. Yep, yep missed it. Alright, good run there. And now we get to enjoy some very sexy scenery. at all. Right, so let's see. Crystals is due to start his run in about 15 minutes, so we'll start setting that up and um, just let you enjoy these wonder wonderful pictures from Star Tropics for a while. 
Okay, see you soon.
All right, back for the time being. Um, just talking to Christos real quick, and we are just about to set up the uh, A Link to the Past, Stella 3 Annual Present Run. Um, welcome to everyone who's joined the NLG Exhibition 2012, doing a 48-hour gaming streaming marathon, and a donation drive to fund research uh, for diabetes. Also, hi to uh, Pryor and Creepy. Cypher as well. Good stuff. Five dollars if Christos gets 127. I think your money might be safe. Or are we doing save and quit? <laughs> it's up to you. ACMLM, hi as well. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to read up the most recent donations here during the Star Tropics run. Uh, thank you all who have donated. First off, we have Mark Rizzo. Uh, sorry for butchering your name, obviously. $7. No comment yet. We have uh, Turikel Slatvold Öne, who is Norwegian, uh, which is why I pronounce his name weird, but it's how it is. Thank you very much for your $30 donation. Nice to see you. And we have Mark Rizzo once again with another $3, so that makes it an even 10. Uh, but no comments on whether or not it's towards the 100% run. So we'll go ahead and do any percent, no save and quit. All right, uh, we're going to do a quick stream reset to get Crystal set up. So see you guys in hopefully just a couple of minutes.